The accommodation options around the Greater Manchester area are quite varied. One of the options is to stay in student halls. We have a variety of student accommodation on campus and that is managed by a partner of ours, a company called CRV. They have different sorts of accommodation from ensuite to sharing a bathroom and kitchen with other people. So there's different options here. For me, student accommodation was a good choice because it was affordable and it was also really close to the university and also the closeness to the transport network and grocery shops around. Our student accommodation is a great choice for you. It has great facilities like gyms and social spaces, and it's a safe and secure place to start your university life. The accommodation costs were affordable as all bills were included, such as electricity, Wi-Fi. It was easy to make friends as they organized events where I got to meet uh, fellow um, students that were living in the same accommodation. I would advise international students to use Campus Living Villages as it's the university's accommodation provider. And in the event that you do not get a spot into the university or are denied a visa, they'll be able to refund you your deposit. If you prefer to live off campus, then there are options you can explore in the private housing market. Most private rented accommodation doesn't include things like water, electricity, gas, Wi-Fi, and so you will need to factor that in. We would always recommend you using Manchester Student Homes for your private rental search. They only use reputable landlords and they can give you advice on your rights as a tenant. I have a private room which is a suit. The accommodation is built inclusive. I live with other few people. This area is called West. It's just a stone throw to the tram station. We have great transport links around us, so it's always a good idea to check out accommodation in other parts of Greater Manchester. I would suggest looking at Bolton, Trafford and Stockport. Travelling to the university is either by me taking bus 50, which is free for the university students. Alternatively, I work, which is about 25 minutes to the campus. When you're looking at private accommodation, you will have to sign a contract. Um, this is a tenancy agreement, which is a legal document. It's really important that you read it carefully and get someone to check it out before you sign it. We recommend that you use Manchester Student Homes who offer a free contract checking service. When you sign a tenancy agreement, you may be asked for a UK guarantor. If you haven't got one of these or don't know what it is, just contact Ask Us because we work with a company called Housing Hand that will act as a guarantor for you for a small fee. Have a look on our website to get an idea of the cost of living in Manchester and Salford. When you're looking for accommodation, I recommend you start as soon as possible as accommodation gets booked very fast. If you choose to use private accommodation, you can follow the University of Salford Students Guideline to be able to guide you through booking an accommodation safely. If you need any advice around anything to do with accommodation or anything else for that matter, contact Ask Us. They're always there to help you.